Hey YouTube, what's up? It's me, Jasmine. Welcome to week 29. Um, this video is probably not gonna be long because I'm feeling extremely exhausted and nauseated. And all my symptoms that I really felt in my first trimester, I'm starting to feel them now and it seems like it's coming on a lot harder than it was my first trimester. So I'm gonna just jump right into this. Um, again, every pregnancy is different, but some of them we can all relate to. So if you wanna have an idea what you're gonna experience in the next few months if you're in your second trimester, be prepared for you to go back to what you started with because, well, at least that's what's, excuse me, happening with me. Um, anyways, now my hips and my back hurt after I wake up. So I could be sleep or take a nap or something like that. And then I wake up and it's like my hips and my back hurt. Now at first it was just one side. Now it's my back, my sides, and I'm getting up like an old woman, like holding onto the walls and everything like that. Um, I felt like a slight pain. It was like a sharp pain, but it only happened one time. And I asked my doctor about that. And he said that it was just um, around ligament pain. And I actually went to my doctor's appointment last Thursday for my 28th week checkup. And now I'm going to begin going to the doctors every two weeks starting my 30 weeks, which is next week. So I'll be going every two weeks. And then once I hit 36 weeks, I'll be going every week, I believe. Woo! We almost there, y'all. <laughs> um, Bella moves a whole lot. She now has a regular schedule Bella will wake up with me so when I wake up and my alarm go off Bella's up with me moving around um, then she go to sleep and then she wakes up again it seems like around 11 or 11 ish when it's almost time for lunch and she'd be kicking and then I'll eat and then she go back to sleep and then she'll wake back up and kick some more and then she go to sleep and then she usually wakes up again around this time it's 627 here in the Midwest and um then she'll go back to sleep because it's usually dinner time she ready to eat so that's how my baby works some people say once you have your baby the baby kind of is on that same schedule but we'll see when she get here um so yeah my doctor's appointment I talked to them about my sharp pains um and then he basically said that those were just round ligament pains um Another thing that's been happening, guys, is y'all remember I said that I, my breast was leaking? Well, now they are leaking. When I said leaking, I meant like it was just a little bit. Now it's like my breast leaks so much. Like, I don't really like, um, I really don't like wearing bras to bed. And I don't like wearing shirts. Like, I like to be free to the world. But if I am free like that and I don't have a bra on or anything, my boobs just leak so much. And this nasty um well not nasty but i'm just saying you don't want to wake up and then your sheets are soaked you know what i'm saying because <laughs> it's milk also when i was um leaking the first time it was clear now it's coming out and it's like a milky like like you ever have milk and then it, you put ice in it or something and it gets like watery looking that's how it's starting to look so I asked my doctor about it and he said that um, basically what's going on is that I am lactating early. <laughs> he said some women um, happen to lactate earlier than others and I just so happen to be lactating um, and my milk is starting to come in and I was like wow really that's pretty cool. Um, so I do plan to breastfeed um, and tell me what you guys think about this. I really don't know how to breastfeed. Or I don't know how that whole schedule works, especially if I'll be working. Um, but people say it's like so hard because, especially if you work, because you have to release your uh, milk whenever your boobs get ready or something. I don't know how this stuff works. That's what I've been told. Like it's just so difficult. So I plan on breastfeeding. I'm still gonna try it, but whatever. But that's what I start having happen to me is my boobs. Um, starts to leak milk now. It's not the actual full milk, but it's the it's getting that color, and I was like, wow. Okay, <laughs> another thing that um, 
My doctor told me is he expressed the need for counting Bella's kicks. It's, he was like, and it was crazy. He was like very, very adamant. Like, you need to count her kicks. You need to begin counting. Now, if she has a regular pattern and she's always moving, then and you have an idea of when she moves. And long as he says she needs to count at least five times, she don't, I mean, kick five times. She don't kick five times at all. That I needed to call him immediately. Um, so I concentrate a lot on her movements and things like that. And she's pretty active. Um, he said if she doesn't move, then I need to drink Pepsi, orange juice. Um, if nothing, I need to call him. Um, I was supposed to get my glucose test done last week, but I've been having problems with my handy dandy United Healthcare insurance. Yeah. Um, it was a misunderstanding and it's just a big, big, big mess as far as benefits are concerned and stuff like that and what they cover, what they don't cover. So I'll be able to take my test, but I won't be able to take it until this Saturday. Um, I also have my maternity shoot. Um, which is scheduled this Sunday coming up on the 17th. So I'm really, really excited about that. I can't wait to show you guys those pictures. Um, my crazy, crazy dreams are coming back. I think that's probably part of me leaving the TV on. And I left it on Oprah Winfrey Station on OWN. And I've been having nightmares. I don't know what I'll be on her channel, but I left it on her station and I had nightmares. Um... So I need to be change the channel and put it back on cartoons before I go to sleep or just turn the TV off. Another thing I noticed for the first time was yesterday. And that was my first time experiencing Braxton Hicks. At least that's what I think it was. When I talked to my mom, she said she believed that's what it was. But what happened, guys, is, is like I felt like somebody punched me in my stomach. Like, you ever got punched in your stomach? And, and it's like, ooh, it hurt like that. That's what it felt like. But my stomach was really, really tight. Like right here in the middle, it was tight right here, and on the sides. Like right now, it's soft. I can not like when I say it's too soft, but you know, it's soft. But it was tight, and it just felt like somebody punched me, and I just was rubbing it. I was just rubbing it, and it kind of soothed it, it made it go, you know, to stop a little bit. But it was not. It wasn't like painful. It wasn't like I was like ah oh, screaming from the top of my lungs or nothing like that and going crazy. It didn't feel that bad. Goodness. But it was uncomfortable. And I was like, well, if this is like labor, then I probably could go natural. <laughs> I know it ain't like that. I know I know it's not like that, but I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much so my update on week 29. Um, I'm just so extremely exhausted. Like, I can't wait to come home from work and go to bed. I can't wait to get in my bed and go to sleep. All I want to do is sleep. If I could, I wouldn't eat. I would just sleep. Like, I'm just so tired. And I'm taking my vitamins and everything, and I don't know what's going on. And then I know my iron is getting low because I crave ice now. And I haven't craved ice in almost a year because I would take my vitamins and I would take prenatals because they have iron in them. But now it's like I just want some ice and I want to smell the freezer. And I want to chew ice so bad, like my mouth waters, thinking about like, I went to Wendy's today, just get a five piece to hold me until I made dinner. And, oh my God, I was like, can I have a piece of ice? I mean, can I have a piece of ice? Can I have a cup of ice? And I was like totally watering, my mouth was watering everything. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I can't have that low iron. But the baby literally will take everything from you. And those prenatal vitamins are supposed to replenish your body. It's not so much to give to the baby, it's to replenish you. Cause she is taking a lot from me. Oh, she's taking a lot right now out of me. And it's just making me so exhausted. Like I'm so tired. Okay, anyways, 29 weeks, <laughs> 77 more days to go. I have a feeling that she's going to come around her due date. I don't think she's going to really come early. I think she's going to come sometime during that week that she's due. That's just what I feel. Can't wait to meet her. Can't wait to see her and hold her. But, all right, y'all, this is it. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. Okay, I'm going to do my belly shot. I'm going to show you guys what I'm looking like this week. And then after this week, it's next week, which is 30, week 30. And then the countdown begins. You know, the 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. So we will see. All right, here I go. 
with my belly shot. All right, guys, here we go. Here is my week 29 belly. This is my belly with my shirt on. You probably can't see because, um, oh, that's another thing. My skin, it just itched so bad, too. I just itch. Anyways, here's my belly with the shirt on. My belly. Then here it is without the shirt. This is my belly. So far, so good. I don't have any stretch marks, guys. None. Up, oh, she's moving. She's trying to get in the picture. Did y'all see that? Y'all probably missed it. She's moving. She's trying to get in the picture. Look at this little diva already. Trying to be in the picture. Go ahead, Bella. Go ahead, Sean. See if I can get her to move. Did y'all see that? Go ahead, Bella. Show him. Say hi. I don't know if y'all saw it or not. Y'all probably missed it. But Bella wanted to be a part of the belly view. She's saying hi. All right, guys. So that's my belly. Me and Bella. Anyways, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, and hello to all my new subscribers. Sorry I wasn't as enthusiastic or energetic or however that you put that this video, but you will understand being pregnant. I'm just so tired, guys. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next week, week 30. The big countdown happens. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. She will be here. Ah. All right, guys. Bye.